Hello, my name is Tristan Plummer. I'm the technology liaison for the IC department. I work with students and staff with a lot of Blackboard related issues. Today I wanted to speak to you about one of the features that I think is one of Blackboard's best features, journals. It's been expressed to me by some that the new layout is a little bit confusing and I wanted to clear that up because if you saw journals the way I see journals, I think everybody would be really happy with this feature. So let's get right into it. And keep in mind, for the purposes of this video, we're actually looking at this feature from a professor's perspective, okay? This is our journal home screen. Now, if you haven't made a journal entry yet, this area right here will not contain any information. It will just simply be blank. Now, on the home screen, there is no instructions for this journal which some people have expressed is a little visually confusing. To get to the instructions, it's very simple. You go to the About This Journal drop-down chevron and you click it. The instructions will appear as well as information about the author, including the amount of entries he's had or she has had, and comments. Feel free to collapse the drop-down menu to get that information off of the screen. Keep in mind the design here is about simplicity. To create a journal you entry, you just, cre you just hit the button where it will take you to a very simple title section and then text section where you can feel free to insert mashups or YouTube videos or whatever information you would like. Once you hit post journal entry, it will show up here and it will also fall in a nice organized way within an index. One of the features that makes the professor side a little bit different is that you can see your entire class from the drop-down chevron just below your name under the About This Journal section. As you can see with my course, not many students have journals because the zero after their name indicates their number of entries. But there is one student that seems to be participating, and that's me, my test student. As you can see, this test student has one journal entry, but happens to have five comments. The comments are not going to be displayed on the home screen without expanding the comment double chevron. Now you can see all the comments. And the reason for this is strictly because of simplicity. It's kind of difficult visually to tell instantly where the journal entry stops and somebody else's opinion begins. That that's why it defaults to a non-collapsed comment section. To enter a comment, all you do is click the box. It'll come up with a very simple text box, and you just hit Submit. And then your comment will appear in chronological order. I hope that this has cleared up a little bit of the anxiety surrounding the journal feature. I think a lot of you will appreciate it, and I hope many of you use it. Have a wonderful day.